Alright, so this is the demo to Dimension Breaker, the fan-made Neptunia game that's in development. I've been following this for a while. It's kind of not safe for work. There is a... There's a streamer mode that will disable that stuff. I'm going to be playing without the streamer mode, and I'll just go back and self-censor whatever needs to be censored. But I've played through this, and... It's a pretty alright game. It's not, you know, the demo. It's a demo. So I'm just jumping right into it. Uh, value might be a little wonky. It's not perfectly set, but first mission features Uni. Second features Netgear. You have the tutorial. Value might actually still be like I have it way down here. But yeah, this game's pretty much just, it's its like if Sinra Kagura, but everybody had guns. It's a hack and slash, but with like shooting and slashing instead. You essentially just go into these small areas, and you just kill everybody one by one. Shooting and filling up that middle bar that's under my HP. Fills your EXE drives gauge. And by doing that, you can use a powerful super attack. Both characters have a special move. Unis is this, Nepgears is their sword slash or whatever. And everyone has a, and both characters have a special skill as well. Unis is a slow motion bullet time matrix mode as seen there and you can change weapons I actually didn't know this the first time I went through the demo and it made playing this game such a pain but once you realize that you can actually save other weapons and carry them with you the game tells you that but it doesn't tell you how to access them which is with the one two three four button But that made it that made the game a lot more enjoyable. You can reload with R. It's keyboard controls for now. The devs say that controller support is gonna come with the full game, so hopefully that pans out. In my opinion, the best way to play the demo, because the demo is actually pretty difficult, or at least it was for me, because I had no idea you could even carry more than one weapon. But based on what I'm playing, I think the best way to play is to essentially use your automatic rifle fill your exe drive and then just spam your super attack because the game will get it will get difficult i actually died quite a bit playing this with that that's when i only had the pistol i had no idea you could switch weapons the pistol seems to refill its own its own ammunition over time like even if you run out it'll go back and refill it the other weapons don't, and that was my problem because I picked up this shotgun and it switches you to it automatically. And I ran out of ammunition and I got locked into like one of these small battle areas and I had no idea how to even... You couldn't continue. But now that I know you can carry multiple weapons, it's definitely it definitely plays a lot smoother. You know, I'm not just doing single shot playing with a pistol. Like, you can imagine how much of pain that would be uh, that's not saying it's a cakewalk like a lot of these enemies do got they kind of have some annoying properties like these ones will shoot at you from afar no matter where you are the healing dog goose will heal over time like that just it just he just healed so but usually using a exe drive wipes them out and this you know, you drop with one uh, HP left after you get their health down. And like this guy, he's just been healing up in the background. Like imagine doing that one by one to every enemy. That's how I had to play through this the first time because I had no idea. But now, you know, you press one, two, three, four to switch your weapon. You have much more selection. So the game actually runs a lot smoother. I don't really like mouse and keyboard controls. So. Yeah. 
If you die, I think you get like some type of not safe for work scene. I'm not really trying to die through this playthrough. So, we'll just... There's not much to fear. The giant doggoos, they're probably the ones to watch out for. Because I think simply them touching you kind of takes a large amount of health. The regular doggoos don't do much. You can easily just straddle around them. And these robot things are kind of annoying. And like I said, mouse and keyboard, well, like, it's kind of, an, it's really, it's annoying for me. I don't really like playing shooting games like this. Like, as far as the controls, I play a lot of Battlefield and stuff, and I'm pretty good with a controller, but I do not like mouse and key, so this is just a skill impact. And this game has that treasure searcher feature, you know, you finish an item or a weapon and you can get, like, something, but... I think that's level one. Yep. And then you can continue. And this is just Nepgear's information. It's she plays her guns are a tiny bit different from Uni's. She's somewhat more of a power character instead of a straight up spammer. But, for the most part, they play relatively the same. As you can see at the top, this guy has like a breaker damage bar. And if it looks like I'm getting hit a lot, it's because it's... I, I need to get good. I fucking hate mouse and keyboard, so I can't really... I can't do it at everything, but... This guy has a damage thing, and once his shield icon gets like that, they won't move until it refills up. Usually when you hit them with a special attack when they're recharging, you can generally I'll take keep them out. Shotgun, no point in switching. Just this like one's that. better. But I've been following them. I've been retweeting a lot of stuff they make. Just because I've been pretty interested in this game. Not even because it's just Neptunia. It looks like a solid overall game. Like, simply the demo already looks better than fucking that blonde zombie game. Like, it, the, the graphics are better. It, no frame drops so far. Uh, you know, other than it not having console con or controller support on the demo, which they said will be in the full game, I don't think there's anything particularly wrong like obviously it's a fan game it's not gonna have the polish but considering neptunia itself doesn't even have any polish it's <laughs> i'll take it but i'm just gonna run back up here i'm gonna grab that piece again hopefully i'll be able to get through this without dying this time like there's a little bit of difficulty to it so people it's kind of like a bullet hell game but not as precise you know, if I wasn't talking, I'd probably be able to focus more on, like, the mouse and keyboard controls. I'll never, I, no matter how much I play, I will never get used to mouse and keyboard controls. So that's just me getting good. Like, I think the best case, I think, for this area is to simply take this guy out. That refills your, that, that enough should refill your uh, EXE drive. This one should take out most of them. You dash backwards. And then you repeat. That's generally the... That's generally a good strategy. Just avoid getting cornered. Because, like, I got stun locked the fuck. And it's... That will get you killed a lot. As long as you can avoid getting cornered. Strapped around them. I'm not good trying to press four buttons to fucking move in a direction. But... You know, with an analog stick, I'd be playing probably way better. And if you want to see Nutgear's fucking special attack or special skill, that's what it is. 
That will last as long as your EXE drive lasts, and then once it empties, uh, it'll disappear. Personally, I think it's just better. I mean, it's probably a part in the game where that's useful for, but in the demo itself, since the demo is relatively difficult, I think it's much better to just, you know, fucking, uh, to just save your uh, EXE drive for bosses. Like I said, you grab this, that guy's gonna explode, so you run. He'll target you a little bit while he's in here, and then he explodes like five minutes later. Or five seconds later. See, and he's gone. I got all my ammunition back from collecting that box. I think it just refills on totally instead of a percentage, so you can probably get that one if you want. As long as you skip one before you come back here. And like I said, once you come back here, you want to take out the first fucking segment, and then... You know, it's not too bad. If you want to use your Q first to kill some of them, as long as your as long as your EXE drive is full before the second wave comes out, because you really want to kill the demon fucking thing. I forget what it's called in Neptunia. You just want to get your bearings. Like this guy's shooting at me. And when you use Uni in the slow motion, it's probably a little bit better because you can fucking. You can do slow time, bullet time. And don't worry about... Like, those attack the thing, but don't worry about it. Because they won't specifically... Yep. He won't specifically attack it. If you're near it and his attack hits it... You'll lose uh, HP over there, but it happens so slow. It's not like Genshin, where like on the Spiral Abyss, you know, two attacks and they fucking take out the entire thing. Like, see right there, they took a little bit from the charging terminal, but this one's this one's going pretty good. I just think there's probably slightly too many waves here. Get in the middle. Oh, am I getting stun locked again? Nope. Uh, I guess I'm at a hell. Yeah. Yeah, it's annoying. Well, it's not annoying, it's just... I'm not good at mouse and keyboard, so I'm not good at, like, strapping. I recommend you take out the fire dog use first. Or, if you want. Oh, I thought my fucking gauge was really full there. Run back, run forward. That's essentially what it is. You just want to keep creating distance. That guy looks like he's minding his own business. So, why he does that... It's a good idea just to focus your fire on these guys. And you can press the R button to reload at any time. So you're not racing ammunition. But with him distracted. One more. And there we go. You pick this up with F. And then you just run back to the area where the monster blew himself up. And this game has like a few other modes. It has like a, a shooting range and some type of tower run bomb thing that's following you. But, you know, it's a demo. So you're not expecting. And it's free. So you're not expecting anything. And here's the story mode. I'll let this play out without talking. That way you can read it.
And there you go. I'm going to skip the trailer. You can view the trailer in the other one. It's just going to show this. If you pick the other option, it's just she hugs you from behind and there's something poking your back and the game says you can make do with that information of what you will. But that is the demo. You know, nice uh, main menu screen. There's some tutorials here. Shows you how to move. Dodge, special attack, sprint. See, this is where I got confused because it says you can carry four weapons, but it doesn't exactly tell you how to do them. Like, four sidearms can be carried at the same time. They are sidearm, regular weapon, close range weapon, and special weapon. Special weapon is character specific, but it doesn't tell you how to switch between them. Character skill can be triggered by pressing E while aiming. Nepgear's ability is the wingman. Trigger it by pressing E directly. And press Q to perform a finishing move, which consumes the blue gauge. And that's the demo. I mean, I guess since I came this far, it doesn't look like there's much to, uh... You can't access that special content menu. This is just firearm training. There's no reason to go through that. I mean, I can show it real quick, I guess. You know, it's just... You can pick up the weapons from her. She's the one that hugs you from behind if you pick that other option. I mean, the character designs are alright. It's like a mix between... What is it? Tommy... I forget how it's pronounced. The uh, Tymon, that ninja fucking game. And then, like, some of the... Neptunia H artists, like, Nyomata and fucking that other guy whose name begins with the O. I forget his name. O... Whatever, I'll probably put their names on screen at some point. But, yeah, that's that's all this is. Like, you can honestly just run through this. Hey, you just shoot eight points. But I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna do that, though. It doesn't look like you can switch characters in this mode, either. But I guess the main thing I was gonna show... Actually, maybe I can do it here. This ball chases you. Apparently, there's nothing at the end of this. It's just how far can you get. You can shoot these if you want. Well, not if you want. You'll have to in order not to lose so much health. But you can kind of run between a lot of them. And that ball is still following you, and you gotta like, it's, you can, it gets pretty crazy. I'm not gonna get very far in this. Yeah, it hit me from behind, so, I died. But yeah, there's that. And I guess the main thing everybody's gonna be wondering if they're watching this is, yeah, well, I, I died twice with Netgear, how about Uni, so. You know, just, I'll, I might as well just get that out the way real quick. One thing I would like is camera controls to make this, uh, to push this back a little bit. But yeah, I'll let these guys kill me real quick. Fastest way to die is to run into these guys. Yeah, I will probably have to censor this one. I mean, there's nothing to actually see, but it's it's probably a bit worse than that <laughs> But that is the game.